time. <laughs> Aaron, d did you start the episode with some kind of screamy thing? Because it cut out and I couldn't hear it. No, I did not. I just said a thing okay. in my own words, but I can start the episode right now. Yes, okay. let's do that. Hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! Hello everybody, welcome back to Game Grumps. Welcome back. There, we are in the last two episodes, I believe two, of uh, Link Between Worlds, and it's time to take on the Demon King mm -hmm. in the Big Bad Castle. You have arrived just in time for Yuga has escaped my bonds and his minions are loose in Hyloru Castle. And his bonds were sexy. They are really hot. <laughs> so please Did you ever see Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> that was about me. That was, that was about me. escaping bonds. <laughs> I escaped. I've also... I also feel bonds are like a very wise investment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, especially when you can buy them at a depreciated value, in particular when the economy is down, they usually sell them at a discount. So you get, you get, for example, if you buy a hundred dollar bond, then and if it's a ten dollar discount, give me a moment while I remove the barrier that protects my castle. Then make haste, Lofus. Just one moment! <laughs> yeah, like you couldn't have done that a long time ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like going over to some big ass switch that's just like, good sunk. Alright! <laughs> it's booting! She just hits re. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I have to hit reset and then kind of give it like a little shimmy. <laughs> just give it a kick. Just. <laughs> fucking. Alright, it's Low Rule Castle, baby. Yeah, boy. Oh, you get $50 yeah. every time you kill that guy. What? How sweet is that? That's ridiculous. 50 big smackers. Oh, 50 big smackeroonies. Oh, man. Or, or monster guts. Or totally useless monster guts. Those oh. are the two possibilities. I now remember why I felt so bad about losing this audio. Why is that? Because we had the funniest fucking bit we've made in a long oh, time. Oh, dude, we'll, 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 we'll talk about it later, because you have to be reminded of all the stuff. Okay. I, I, bet, we could, I bet we could get back to it again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We'll we'll discuss that. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm talking about, right? Absolutely, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I felt it like inner innately in my head. I was like, I was like, man, I just there was such a good bit, and I don't remember what it was. And yeah, Ch check this out. Like, they, I thought this was very cool. They just give you everything you need. You could just keep walking back and forth and get twenty two bucks every time. That is unreal. And then just push that statch <laughs> into the into the lav. Yeah, just get yourself a little, get yourself a little treasure chest, a little red rupee over there. Yep, you want a red ru red rupee. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were doing? You're doing the red robin. Yeah, I was actually. I didn't <laughs> okay. I didn't think I was, but I guess I was. Dude, you know what? You know what the str sad thing about the Backstreet Boys tour is what? Uh, well one of the many sad things. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I find myself missing the crap restaurants. Oh, more than anything, dude. I I have been like sincerely missing the idea of trying to get work done and not being able to get work done because people are like asking me questions every five minutes. Like, I like, right, right. legitimately got nostalgic for that. It was like, man, I just fucking wish I could be in my office getting frustrated that I can't get any work done. Because everyone's like, hey man, can I borrow you for a second? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I was like, god, I would give anything to go to IHOP. And <laughs> before the Backstreet Boys tour, I was like, god, I would give anything to never go to IHOP again. <laughs> oh man. It's, I mean, life is precious, man. It's not good. It's not. Su Susie and I ordered out to Denny's. Um, a little while ago, and we were like, yeah, man, it's just like, we're gonna have like a normal, like, it's gonna feel normal, because we're gonna eat Denny's, and it's just like, it's like, whatever, man, it's like, we're ordering food, it's like, fuck it, let's just get the, let's get Denny's, fuck it. And then, it was the worst, it was, it was terrible, I was awake all night. Oh, just, dude. Like, writhing in bed, I immediately had to shit, my brain's out. It was ridiculous. The only time, uh, Ashley's ever had... Denny's was um, when we were driving back from the Tool concert, and she remarked to me that it was the most disgusting thing she'd ever eaten. <laughs> she was like, "This isn't food," <laughs> and I was like, "No, no, honey." No. And and yeah, and um, I mean, you remember, like, we were all so disgusted, but we were so hungry. Mm -hmm. But that's 
That's how Denny's is, man. You don't leave the house thinking like, oh, can't wait to end up at Denny's tonight. Like, <laughs> you just end up there when there's no other options. Yeah, that's so true. It's like, there it is. It's open. Let's just go. Like, I'll get a sandwich, I guess. And then you just net, like, you open up the menu that's like fucking 30 pages and, and it's laminated and it's covered in syrup and you're just like, I don't know the pancakes. Give me the pancakes. Give me the fucking give pancakes. pancakes. Give me the lumberjack the slam. Let's get the eggs and the sausage. <laughs> and the, pancakes. the lumberjack slam. <laughs> okay. I would not do that if it were food or a dance move <laughs> or or a, a love making position. I wouldn't do any of it. <laughs> the no sir. Slam. The lumberjack slam. That oh. just sounds terrible in every way. Oh God. <laughs> Can you describe it to me? What is it? The lumberjack slam? Oh, I mean, it's it's, yeah. it's it's all the breakfast items. So it's like, it's it's like food made for a lumberjack, you know? Bleh, they're really hungry because they're chopping down trees all fucking day or whatever. So it's like, you know, it's a, it's a it's a short stack of pancakes, and then you get eggs, two eggs of your type, then you get like two strips of bacon, two things of sausage, you get hash browns, um, and I think that's it. Oh my god. Yeah, it's I that's mean, it's a nightmare. That's vile. It's so vile. Yeah, and you know what? Every time I get it, I eat it all. I eat every fucking ounce of it. I Do you really? I mean, it's just covered in salt. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you thirstier and hungrier as you eat it. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> it, it, yeah. D Denny's... Denny's really is like, um... Like... Dre like, um, what's the word? Dehydrating on a boat in the middle of a saltwater ocean. <laughs> you know, like, I know I'm starving, but if I eat any of this, it will be so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. better to just die like this. <laughs> I don't want them to, like, autopsy me and be like, oh, he had the Denny's. <laughs> oh, I don't want shame. them to autopsy me. <laughs> Like, you die, it, your, your body will probably be, because of all the preservatives in their food, your body will be like those people who die on Mount Everest. It's like perfectly, like, it's like 80 years later and you look exactly the same. It's like the Just fucking sitting at your desk. <laughs> the fucking like Pompeii volcano zombies or whatever. <laughs> oh, I oh the my Denny's. goodness. That's, oh, no. It's terrible. That is, yeah, that is understandable. Do you think that's what killed him? No, but it definitely <laughs> didn't help. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, and the other scientist comes forward is like, of course that's what killed him. <laughs> you fucking talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, I don't know, I just like eating at Denny's. I, I just didn't want it to be the thing that kills people, but... I guess if that's But what here it, we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> so this is... Uh, this is Hilda's house, right? Yeah, we we are in Hilda's dungeon, and we're trying to figure out. Um, th th as you can see from my pauses and running in circles, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Everyone's watching. <laughs> <laughs> but she has to like, I mean, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm saying is like she has to like get to her room and shit. Like, this isn't like she walks into the house and she's just like, all right, I just gotta go upstairs and, um. Okay. <laughs> I've had a hard day, and I really just want to unwind, and I want to kick up my feet and hop in the bathtub, but yeah. I forgot how the puzzle goes. <laughs> 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 do I put the bomb up there first, or do I... Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah, shit. Man, I, which kitchen am I going to? The one, the one above the lava, or the one suspended below the lava, and kind of over by the bomb garden? <laughs> Do I have to blow up the rock? How long has that rock been there? <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> she fucking Airbnbs her... her yes, that that's that's what we were... That's what we were laughing at so hard when when we were playing this the first time. Mm -hmm. um, it was Aaron doing an impression of Hilda um, <laughs> renting out her dungeon or her, her house as an Airbnb. <laughs> And like starting with like the good stuff, like, um, spacious, airy, <laughs> old school architecture, very historical yeah. structure, very interesting columns and use of space. <laughs> Just like but then you'll have to, but then she has to get to the point where it's like, 
Watch out for the floating bomb creatures. They will destroy you and everything you hold dear. <laughs> if you come in contact with the, the bomb plant, um, please don't be alarmed. It will follow you to every room, no matter where you go. Um, all you have to do is whack it and run. Like, run really fast. <laughs> It's fine. It won't destroy anything except for walls that are meant to be destructible. That's totally okay. Don't worry about it. Fair warning. There are a, an army of undead knights who will throw spears at you if you try to use the upstairs bathroom. <laughs> um, quaint. Lots of places to read a book. <laughs> and there, there is a man at the front named Harold. He wields a spear and will come directly at you. Just try to avoid him because it will stick you and you will die. <laughs> 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 oh my god. It was so Oh. Oh, cool. That actually worked out pretty well. If you get lost in the bomb maze, don't worry. You <laughs> Just bring your own spare bombs and huck them over the edge. Rest assured, there are blue and red crystals that change the walls from top to bottom so that you can easily get to your bedroom and have a great night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> there will be a group of creatures taking frothy dad pisses. <laughs> don't, be, don't be alarmed by the, the sound, <laughs> the overwhelming loudness of the sound that will be heard in any point of the castle, no matter where you are. Fair warning, there will be a bunch of floor tiles that will shoot icy spears at you. <laughs> Don't worry. But small Don't... price to pay for having a foyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, so stupid. <laughs> Oh, Keys God. will be liberally distributed throughout the lower. Of Watch out for the giant purple hamburger monster. <laughs> <laughs> if you get hungry, there is a giant purple hamburger in the dungeon. You must defeat him in combat first, though. <laughs> Fear not, his tail is vulnerable. However, if he attacks you in the head and the walls will close on you, I cannot assure your safety. <laughs> And then she's trying to she tries to like cover up some of the details of the home with like with like buzzwords or like the it's like it's like a picture of like lava all over the ground and she's like warm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. A picture of a huge disgusting hamburger monster and it's just at the bottom it's like pet friendly <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right, that was that was much easier. I had a much easier time with it that time than I did in the um the first playthrough with uh the what's it called? Um uh when I had to fight that hamburger monster over the lava pit, oh, you know? Yeah. And you you can get knocked off super easily. Mm -hmm. That was where I found him to be difficult. If you must encounter the hamburger monster, try to do it in the room where there's not a lava pit. <laughs> It'll be much easier for you to access the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Some people like to. If you need to access the, the attic for any reason, <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> if you need to adjust the thermostat, it's up in the attic. You can open the door to the attic by finding the door with four runes. You, in order to light the runes, you must kill four giant monsters. Be sure to remember the shapes of the runes because they will denote which monster to defeat in order to get into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You will need the following. A hookshot. A spear. An ice rod. Bombs? And you'll probably want- yeah, and I'm lactose intolerant, so you'll probably want to bring your own milk. <laughs> Oy vey. Right when you enter the home, you will encounter a room full of skulls. Don't worry, they've got <laughs> presents inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you, if you want to go out to eat, you can find some cash inside the skulls. Grab a couple books and get yourself some Starbucks. 
<laughs> oh my god. Like when someone leaves like a bowl of fruit out, like it's that kind of... Like... <laughs> you will find pears and kiwi, kiwi and guava and skulls. <laughs> Feel free to do whatever you want. <laughs> Located in beautiful low roll, where all the trees are rotting, and there are creatures that are throwing bombs all the time. <laughs> Walkable! <laughs> <laughs> do you like the color purple? The entire building is the color purple. The floors, the walls. The only thing that's not purple is the deadly lava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the most purple thing you will encounter are the monster guts. Oh, this thing. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the platforms will appear before you. Don't worry, <laughs> you will not fall in the lava. <laughs> <laughs> Starting at forty dollars a day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for forty dollars, you can't beat a deal like that. You'll probably find that much money in the skulls alone. <laughs> for forty dollars a day, this historic, spacious castle death trap can be yours. <laughs> <laughs> it practically pays for itself in deadly electrified jellyfish. <laughs> Spacious. <laughs> well lit. <laughs> well lit. Heated floors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> if you encounter an electrical jellyfish, don't be alarmed. Just kill it and then kill the 45 smaller electrical jellyfish that it explodes into. This will give you free access to the basement. <laughs> Where you can get a key. The key will give you access to the second rune. <laughs> Which perfect for storing your bicycle. <laughs> oh, Jesus. oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to teleport? Now's your chance. Teleporting blocks all over the tension. You will find a teleportation block in the second breakfast nook. <laughs> <laughs> Brita filter included. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, Please God. do not leave the place a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up after yourself. If you decide to blow up all of the enemies, that's fine. Just pick up all the shit. <laughs> I don't want fucking rupees and hearts laying around everywhere. Sorry, it just it really teases me off whenever I have tenants to yeah. come in and they mess up the joint. I've been there. I've been through this before. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. god. Ugh. Holy crap. <laughs> so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Spinning ball torch. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yeah, nicely done, me. <laughs> I'm I like I'm complimenting you as if you're playing. Yeah. It does, Clunk. It, it does have a little bit of that feeling. Need a little exercise? Yeah. Giant like, iron balls will be rolling incessantly in the flame room. <laughs> Run away from them. It gets gets the heart rate up, I guess. <laughs> But then immediately run behind them if you want access to the lower level. Damn it! <laughs> I mean, oops! Uh, that was wrong. Forget that. How do I erase? I can't figure out how to erase, so you'll just have to read this. <laughs> Please do not scuff the floors. <laughs> Please do not scuff the floor. Wear the provided booties, please. <laughs> We obey tra traditional Japanese shoe laws here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's right. 
What? If you find it impossible to get through the platforms to the foyer, just... <laughs> if you have the ability to meld into walls, do it then. <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity. <laughs> 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 if you have the ability to melt the door. <laughs> Perfect for anyone looking to buy a fixer upper. <laughs> <laughs> Needs a lot of work, but well worth it. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Admittedly, some of the floor tiles will spin by themselves and try to kill you. <laughs> Admittedly. <laughs> If you if you enjoy the floor tiles that, that will be located on another level from you, don't worry. They will fly towards you so you can get a closer look. It's an older house, and what older house doesn't have some quirks? <laughs> Quaint. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that might be one of my favorite insane, stupid running jokes. <laughs> Just, just uh, Hilda's low rule Airbnb castle. <laughs> <laughs> For those visiting low rule, there are a lot so of great absurd. places to see. For example, the rotting forest. <laughs> the rotting forest. <laughs> In my. For those who like bird watching, have you ever seen a dead bird? There are all of them. <laughs> Does my castle not have enough skulls for you? Let me point you in the direction of Skull Woods. <laughs> An easy jog. <laughs> yeah, five minute jog from here. <laughs> oh, man. Perfect for young families. <laughs> Adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Man, it, it, these platforms are on or are, are an ordeal. Yeah. <clears throat> Heated floors making you a little too warm. Stand by the face things. They'll just, they'll freeze you cold. For a nice <laughs> cooling <laughs> sensation. Oh. Oh 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 oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus oh uh huh. So funny. Oh, thank goodness. Fucking Hilda. Nailed it. Well done. <laughs> Love you. Love you, Captain. Yeah. Oh, you're doing great, man. You're doing great. This one I know you got figured out. Although I think I yeah. remember you had a little trouble. <laughs> well, I mean, we just watched me have some trouble. Yeah. Oh, that was all there was, is just get the key. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed falling in the lava 8,000 times. Yeah. It was kind of my thing. <laughs> One of the best features of that falling in the lava. <laughs> it's like a hot tub for your whole flesh. <laughs> <laughs> like a hot tub for your whole flesh. <laughs> Inside and out. <laughs> it will Ooh. render you speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh. Boop, boop, boop. Don't worry, I've left small keys scattered around the house so that you can access all of the rooms. Fantastic. Oh, that's uh, this was a dead end. Yeah, I guess so. I. Boy, it's. Did you get lost as hell, dude? I don't. I, don't, I mean, this this is a large dungeon. At the same time, I completely, completely understand where our fans are coming from when they're like, You idiot. <laughs> Just go to the place you need to go to. Yeah. Um, it's like when you're playing, but unfortunately, you're, you're just trying to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, like, it, that's just the way it's gonna be with games we haven't played before. You've literally played But I did play this already. before, so... What the hell is my excuse? <laughs> I don't know, the room was big! <laughs> <laughs> room was too big! Very spacious! <laughs> <laughs> Great for parties! Oh my. Good god! 
Feel free to use the transportation pod as much as you want in case you're an idiot who doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> transportation pod. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> it makes you feel like Spock. I guess I just wanted to save it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely what I wanted to do. <laughs> Was this the end of the episode? Uh no. No. Okay. All right. I thought I might have been running outside to be like, oh, fuck, we're ending, you know. <laughs> Let me save. Oh, that's Harold. Don't but worry. He'll throw spears at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> There's an armored man by the front door who's criminally insane and he throws spears. That's just Steve. Don't mind him. He's a card. <laughs> what a card that's Steve. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh, look at oh I guess this. Yeah, farming hearts. Mm -hmm. Kind of a good move, you know. I didn't want to use my pochens. Yeah. The skulls will be replenished once you leave the room. <clears throat> That's how good the service is here in Laurel Castle. <laughs> Best not to ask how or whose skulls they are. <laughs> They're definitely human, though. <laughs> yeah. Could they be yours in the future? Who knows? It depends on if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Personalized. Come on, Dan. I believe in me. Go to the door with the runes. Did Find you get it. All the runes? No, no. I've only got two out of four. So you got to get the uh, the remaining two runes, bro. Yeah, I, you're telling me. I'm telling myself right now. Well, you got yeah, I think I know where I'm going, actually. I think you got to go to the left because you got that key now. Yes. Go up and left. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> oh, good for me. <laughs> so proud of myself. Retroactively. <laughs> if you're feeling tired, don't worry. The bedroom is just a 48-step adventure away. <laughs> <laughs> you want to wield bigger fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I just left that treasure chest. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Invisible floors. <laughs> Just one of the many quirks. <laughs> quirks. All right, nice. Oh, what is this? Oh. This is when you have to. Oh, uh, that's a wall, I guess. Oh, yeah. jeepers creepers! I have to. What I don't realize, yes. There we go. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, cute. Yeah, cool, right? Very cute. And that's why having the fire rod, the big old fiery rod, Rodenstein, that gets from across the way. Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. I guess I just have to remember where to go. <laughs> we Celebrity architect Satan worked on this cast. <laughs> Celebrity architect. <laughs> <laughs> architect to the stars. <laughs> Our Lord Beelzebub. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Bob. Bielsa Bob. <laughs> <laughs> A real class act, that Bielsa Bob. If you want to meet him, <laughs> just dive into the, the fiery pits below. Oh. He may never return. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you did. Ah, jeez, dude. That's okay. The forces of evil will bring you back so that you can suffer over and over again. Certainly feels that way. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Just forward, walk forward, bro. dude. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna learn it again. Oh, it is pretty narrow. It is pretty narrow. Yeah, it's fucking killing me, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> ah. Okay. You can just walk right up there. I guess I wanted to transport first. Who knows why? What is even my- what am I even accomplishing right now? BY- BY- What's that? Far. Bring your own fire rod! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, I remember this guy. He sucks. <laughs> oh my like, god, dude. <laughs> I know, I know. I think I forgot there was a wall there. I'm like, maybe I'll just see what's over here. Yeah. That is an amazingly cool effect, though, that yeah. they- that 
the floor traces the movement of his fire. Wow. It's a closure, I believe. The game closure was the same. It was the opposite. It's like you would carry a little orb of light, and then the orb of light would like reveal the stage. Hmm. And if it wasn't, and if you couldn't see it, it wasn't there anymore. Why didn't you go to this? Why didn't you go to the tra I don't know. <laughs> so help me, God. Well, I um, don't know. So confused. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to see where the transporter would lead. Yeah. Oh, it just it just it just closes that loop. Oh, I see. Dark Soul style. Oh, yeah. Cool. Very nice. Yeah. So I guess I didn't get too lost. Oh, very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay, so, okay, good, good. What, what's the... the teleporter? What's the point? Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank oh, you, Dan. Dan. I know, like, I'm like, I know we finished this game, so... I must have done something right. <laughs> yeah. There is a teleporter. Oh, I... I guess I'm looking for hearts. <laughs> in all the wrong places. <laughs> Each okay. Each contains a special gift from me to you. Boom, baby. Three runes down. And I've been stabbed. Steve! <laughs> Fuck Steve! <laughs> what a card! Yeah. I was warned about you! <laughs> I knew it! Stabby Steve! She Damn you! Oh. <laughs> it's what I do. I'm Stabby Steve. Share the house with any housemates. Maybe now it was time to, uh... Wow, I really played it... Played it nice and safe. I'm- I'm going back for more hearts and to save again. Wow, alright, yeah. Well, next time on Game Grumps, then. Is it- is it time for next time on Game Grumps? Yeah, I think it is. Alright, then. Uh, we will pick it up on what I believe is the finale, is that true? I believe so, yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, what a, what an end of an era. I know, I know. The so. six year epoch. <laughs> six that year it took to play epoch. this game or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, alright, join us next time. Alright. Later everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, and that's the motherfucking tea, baby. Alright, I love you. Great, great work, Aaron. I love you too, and as as was your work. Good. Okay, excellent. <laughs>